So back to the 3,000. And again, let's update you now. We can tell you that Philip Mahaljevic out of Virginia has now taken the lead in the men's shot put on his last throw, 18.88 meters, taking the gold medal position away from Jordan Young, his teammate for Virginia, who will have to settle for silver at 18.80. And Bowles out of Duke will grab the bronze at 18.16. Florida State able to get fifth and sixth. Virginia Tech in seventh in the men's shot put. So we'll update you on the scores here coming up in just a little bit. Virginia Tech at 84 points. We can tell you Florida State is 82 and a half with the 3,000 and the four by four still to come on the men's side. So really getting close here. As our championships wind down and here is Thomas Curtin out of Virginia Tech already with the lead. Mark Derrick out of North Carolina currently running in second. Crawford out of NC State is in third. That's how they line up early on. And you can tell that Curtin wants to set a blistering pace. And again, the ACC market 749.20 could very well be in danger here at Rector Fieldhouse this weekend. Crawford in second still, and Curtin is just setting a very quick pace to start out for Virginia Tech. And now Crawford's starting to close in a little bit as well. And behind him is Kabichi, the sophomore out of Louisville, and then Ryan Walling out of North Carolina in second, in fourth, rather. Hey, here running in fifth. So those are your top five right now. But Kurt and Crawford now say the pace both came in under eight minute free, uh, seed times, rather. And Crawford came in with a mark of 755.89. So here we go, Curtin again. Again, setting the good pace early on. They're really strong out. The top nine competitors are within striking distance. And that's with Curtin setting a, a very quick pace. Walling out of North Carolina now up to third. Kabichi in fourth position. strung out along the front stretch. Curtin looking very, very relaxed, very composed. He's got Crawford right behind him. And again, everyone is stretched out now. Even the back of the pack starting to reel in. What was once a line of nine is now a line of about uh, 12. Curtin still in control. A quick pace, stretching out the lead just a little bit from Crawford. Again, the ACC record 749.20. Well, watch that time here. So it's Virginia Tech, NC State, North Carolina, Louisville, Syracuse, your top five. And Curtin is just whipping around the Rector Fieldhouse track. He is looking very, very impressive here. Eight laps remaining for Curtin. In the men's 3,000 meters, again, the time to beat. Kevin Hoyos out of Syracuse ran 813.48 in section number one. Virginia Tech, who came into this event with just a slight lead on Florida State. Looking to grab 10 and then some here in 
the team standings. And now Kurt, you can see the lead just starting to wide. Kurt just takes a peek over his left shoulder. And heads down the front stretch. And now Crawford and Walling for North Carolina starting to battle. And Walling now takes the second spot. Had here now on the outside shoulder of Crawford. Running now in third position. And we're five minutes in. And also Virginia now in fourth position. NC State and North Carolina running in a battle for fifth. Five laps remaining now for Curtin as he comes by. And here the battles here for here trying to hold off Walling. And here now starting to submit himself as a silver medal contender. But he is starting to close in just a little bit now on the leader who was Curtin. You can see in your picture there, that was Hahir. And here he comes again. And Curtin still with the lead. And Walling still doing well in second position. Four laps remaining. Here playing catch up. Those are your top two. Now they're starting to pull away from the field. If I here closes in, this place is going to get louder. Curtin still in command. They have really, really opened up a lead on the rest of the field. Curtin will come to the line with three laps remaining. Curtin again came in with the ninth best time in the country. And here trying to close the gap. And it is narrowing little by little. And here has enough time to reel in the favorite. But Curtin keeping the same pace as he did in the early going, but here closing in even more. And now they move down the front stretch. When they come to line, there will be two laps remaining. here you know he wants to take the lead here with two to go. He won't do it yet. Curtin took a quick peek, and now he starts to accelerate. Those are your top two. Which color medal will they bring home? And here is Curtin down the back stretch, still trying to hold off Hey, here, and here comes the move. Hey, here down the back stretch has now taken the lead. The first time that Curtin has surrendered the lead in the entire race with a little under a lap and a half to go. Here they come. Down the front stretch they come. Curtin. Just outside, hey here. One lap to go, and there's the bell. Curtin with explosiveness pass, hey here. There's your battle for first and second. Curtin down the back stretch. Hey here giving chase. And hey here wants to go on the outside shoulder of Curtin. Curtin trying to hold him all. Half a lap to go. Curtin on the inside. Hey here right behind him. Here they come down the front stretch. Here comes Curtin. Hey here on the outside. Curtin on the inside. Curtin's going to do it. Curtin's going to win gold for Virginia Tech. And he holds off Tahir. Records have fallen, we'll let you know. And that was a great race between Curtin and Tahir. And we'll let you know the numbers coming up in just a little bit. But that was so much fun to call and so much fun to watch. As Thomas Curtin led... All the way with the exception of one lap, 752.92 is the time, 752.92. And that is a new facility record, which had stood for 16 years, and also a new ACC, or I'm sorry, a championship record, which has stood for three years. Okay, here with the silver medal, Kyle King out of Virginia, uh, able to edge out Barlow out of Virginia Tech for the bronze, and Zach Seddon for Florida State places in fifth and let's take a look at some of these battles which just took at place here in Blacksburg and there you see Curtin trying to hold off Hahir and Hahir along the back stretch makes his move and he takes the lead with one to go well there's the pass and that was Curtin exploding past Hahir and you can see Hahir just giving it his all Curtin 
though, accelerate to 